We are supporting high speed rail because we want more choices, particularly sustainable choices. The actions of our generation are showing elected officials that sustainable transportation is important to us. This is better for our environment and better for our economy. We want a community that offers more choices for how to travel, how to commute, and how to visit our families. So as representatives of future workers, riders, and beneficiaries of high-speed rail, we thank you for investing in our future and in the future of California. As, as our, our saying goes, goes I, I will, will ride. ride. Today's groundbreaking is not only important, it's a historic event for all of California that will have far positive reaching effects not only here but throughout the nation. The words that we speak here today will little be remembered 100 years from now, but the results of our actions, the results of our actions will have a profound effect on California's future, as did the construction of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in the 19th century. We are pleased to join you in celebrating this project and the opportunities it is giving California small businesses. We founded our company in 1994 and have seen good times and bad. High Speed Rail is the emphasis project that is bringing big contracts to small businesses like ours. Work for Us started this past June when some of our rebar was used in Madera where contractors are building a high-speed bridge over the Fresno River. We are proud to have our products being used on the nation's first high-speed rail system. As this program begins picking up speed, the demand for services will be boost for the state's economy. Our company will need to hire an additional 50 to 70, 80 more employees to keep up with this increased work. I am actually here to celebrate this incredible groundbreaking event because a lot of folks have talked about the benefits of high-speed rail for Cali California and the local economy, but the benefits of this project go so far beyond that. It's also a groundbreaking event that has huge implications for protecting our health and our climate. High-speed rail plays a critical role in a sustainable future for all of us, where we can grow the economy, expand opportunity, and protect public health and the environment all at the same time. You know, the water bond, which my father promoted in 1960, it only won, won by less than 1%. The BART uh, bond only passed because the legislature reduced the bond uh, uh, passage uh, majority from 66 and two-thirds to 60, and it got, I think, about 61%. So all these projects are a little bit, you know, touch and go all the way, because you'll always have critics, why spend the money? That's what I, I'm, my inclination is not to spend a thing. <laughs> but on the other hand, I like trains. <laughs> I like clean air. I like to protect as much of the land as we possibly can. And I like to enjoy the comfort of trains. I like to, the other things I like to, I like to get up on a train, I like to walk around, go shake hands. Can't do that on a plane as easily, and you can't do that in your little car as you look in the rear view mirror. But a train, it's sociable, it's amenable, it's the future, and it's happening right here in Fresno, California. We've got a lot to be proud of today. What is important is the connection that we are rooted in our forebears and we are committed and linked to our descendants. And the high speed rail links us from the past to the future, from the south to Fresno and north. This is truly a California project bringing us together today. Thank you very much.